Hello everyone and welcome back to Noia Dev, the series that aims to prove that one developer can create a successful MMORPG. My name is Dane and this week on Noia Dev, we're talking about Polish. In the last devlog, I told you guys that I was going to focus on Polish for this devlog. And for those that don't know, polishing a game means that you don't add anything new and instead focus on improving all of the aspects of the game that already exist. And that's what I've been up to for these past two weeks. Bug fixes and polish. If you're in the Noia Discord server, link in the description, or a follower of the Itch.io page, you should have seen these update notes drop a bit earlier in the week. But let's go over them really fast. First of all, the bug fixes. Look at all of these. I have nearly cleared out every bug reported in Discord up till last week. Biggest of all the bugs that were fixed is the crashing on certain boss fights. That was my bad. I forgot to attach the enemy colliders back to the boss objects after updating all the prefabs last devlog. Big bug, simple fix. These spider webs in the mine map are falling down and jumping it was caused by a collider error. Attaching a collider directly to a monster can have some weird consequences. The iron bow recipe was supposed to be using strong spider silk, but strong spider silk had the same exact icon as the brilliant iron ore, so that caused a bit of confusion. The lingering fire effect from fireball would never go away, causing an infinite XP grind. There was a whole ton of sprite sorting layer issues that have been fixed, so rocks no longer clip into the player's head or red over players in weird ways. All of the small rocks and bones in the underworld now have their collision removed, so the battle area is a bit easier to traverse around. On the same note, the river in the forest map now has proper collisions on the bank, so no more walking on water. I removed the ability for AoE spells to hurt dead monsters you know, because they're dead, and I fixed the settings hotkey to actually do what it was supposed to do, open the settings window. When you clear a dungeon in Noia, these beams of light come down to indicate a successful clear, reminiscent of Diablo 2, but some of them would randomly blink on and off. That's been corrected. There was a limit to how many light sources could affect a single item at a time. The grilled cheese sandwich recipe alluded to being a peanut butter and jelly sandwich instead. And here's a big one. Attack sounds from other players could be heard from any distance. This should be fixed now so that attack sounds should only be barely audible if the attacking player is off screen and will get louder as you get closer to that player. And last but not least, players were unable to add spaces in guild names. And now you can. So that's it for the bugs. Let's talk about actual polish changes. I understand that it wasn't really clear or there was no indication that a monster was actually dead and its corpse was loose. So now monster corpses that you own will glow just like interactable objects do. If you or a party member kill a monster, this white outline will appear on the monster body indicating that it has loot and you may loot it. This will also help on monsters that have smaller loot silhouettes like the will-o'-wisps when they die. The shortcut bar has been updated with new icons to be more in line with the proper style and color palette of Noia. And there's also additional icons that have been added as well. Before, we had the equipment, skills, quest, party, and settings. And now we have equipment, skills, quest, party, map, cash shop, discord, and settings. Speaking of the cash shop, I am in process of moving all of the various hair and appearance gear out of Jeeves' shop here into the cash shop. All of the items in the cash shop are free, so have fun with those. And there are a few new items donated by our own Hidden Rachel from Discord. A fishbowl head, a dino hoodie, a cute ribbon, hair, and a tutu. Most of the new items are dyeable, so I look forward to seeing all of your crazy color combos in Discord. Go nuts! Moving on to a feature you have all been asking for is a Remember Me checkbox on the login screen. I am going to be as clear as I can be here. This feature will save your username to your device. Do 
not use this feature on a public device. As an added security feature, I have also added a minimum password length going forward, six characters or more, be safe. There's also a new disclaimer that pops up whenever you start the game. It is not legally binding in any way, but it's just there to let any new players that this is definitely still an open alpha test and there will definitely be bugs and balance issues. Something that was 100% needed was a difficulty indicator on monsters. Before, whenever you clicked on a monster, you would just get this generic health bar at the top of your screen. Now, when you click on monsters, these different icons will indicate how difficult that monster is, whether it be normal, tough, elite, mini boss, or dungeon boss. If you see a skull next to a monster name, you probably want to recruit a friend or two to help you kill it. Remember these green pools in the underworld? Yeah, you can walk in them now. It hurts. Be careful. I added these stat breakdowns to the stats window on the player profile page. Hovering over strength, dex, int, or whiz, stat numbers will show the stat panel and get a breakdown of where those stats are coming from. Specifically, whether it's assigned stat points, equipment, weapon levels, or buffs. That was a lot. And I'm not sure what came over me in these past two weeks, but I got a lot of work done. But there was one thing that has been bouncing around my head, the tutorial for Noya. Currently there is no actual tutorial for Noya, rather there are a few of these pop-ups that appear to inform the player of a game mechanic that's not exactly intuitive, like clicking specific phrases during NPC chat for example. I was hoping to get by without having a formal tutorial and just get by with these info pop-ups, but I have come to the realization with your guys' help, that I might need a proper tutorial. One that explains in greater detail all the basics on how to play the game. How to move, fight, how to add skills to a hotbar, how to communicate with NPCs, interact with objects, complete quests, monster difficulties, applying stat points, you name it. So here's the thing. In the Noia Discord, link in the description, there is a channel for me to put decisions like this up for vote by the community. I am putting a poll up for you you guys to decide. Are the current info pop-ups enough or does Noya need a proper tutorial to teach players how to play? Head over to the Noya Discord, cast your vote. And that's it for this week. Despite all of the work that I've put in in the last two weeks, there have actually been a couple of new bugs discovered and I want to get a new quest feature in that specifically deals with the primary storyline of Noya before the next devlog comes out. So I gotta get back to work. See you next time. Bye.